what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here in the house welcome back to the channel today we are embarking we're starting the journey of the final season of sons of anarchy and it's been a journey indeed one of my favorites series of all time so far um I would definitely say it's in my top 10 not in my top five though so far it's one of my favorite series um, after this I'm not sure what I'm going to do as a TV show yet me you know pretty much every TV show that I'm watching including the ones that were currently going on they're all not going on right now so I will have to choose a new TV show for the channel I don't know what it, that is going to be next because pretty much all the highly requested TV shows, I've done them, I think. You know what I'm saying? There's still some on the, the list that I need to get to, so I will announce when that is coming out as well. But let's talk about Sons of Anarchy, man. Um, last season, we lost Tara, um, you know, Clay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't talk about even the characters that I don't really like, you know, or, you know, you've seen it coming. You know what I'm saying? And with Gemma killing Tara out of not understanding what's going on, just out of she just has to protect her family. Of her doing that, it just goes to show you how much of this series really is contingent upon how the story is being told and just I never expected that um I, I just never did so it was kind of like it, it was in that 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 same motion you know what I'm saying it was kind of like in that same motion where I'm just like where are we going to end up at the end of the series um so I'm going before I put out this video before I go watch the first episode I am going to say this um, I have some predictions for how this series is going and I think at the end of the series pretty much all ev the, the sons of anarchy I think not necessarily that they're going to die but I think most of them are going to be in prison or dead now I don't think it is going to be a happy ending to this story because we're already in so much tragedy I you know what I'm saying like now now that roosevelt is dead too this is a big problem for them because i don't know if Gemma. i don't think Gemma is going to end up in jail i don't i don't feel like that about what's going to happen i think she's going to be protected till the end i think she's probably going to be the only character left standing at the end of all of this that's what i believe so i don't think that Gemma is going to go to jail. I don't think she's going to die either. I think at the end of it, she's probably... I, I really don't want to make this prediction. But I feel like Jax is going to die. I just feel like all of this is going to catch up to him. And he's going to end up like his old man. And it's not something I want to see. It's not something that I'm hoping happens. But I just feel based on how this story is being told, you know, the, the connection with his dad, I think he's going to find out that Gemma, you know, you know, was, you know, mainly respond with, I still hold her responsible. Like she was involved, you know what I'm saying? Clay was happy to do it because he was in love with Gemma, right? Um, so I think he's definitely going to find out about that. He's probably going to find out also that Gemma killed Tara. So there's so much that I think is going to happen by the end of this season. I need to look to see how many episodes, if it's the same regular 13 episodes. Um, it's just the way how the, the story is just being written, man. Like you can tell that certain things are going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to you don't want your mind to really go there uh, but i feel like Jax is not going to survive the show and i think maybe in some way they might the irish 
might find out that he orchestrated the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we'll see how things go. See how, you know, how they, how they do this season. If they're going to wrap things up with, with some other, with the other crews, with Alvarez moving in and all of this other stuff. There's so many things, plot points that needs to be wrapped up before the end of this season at least give us some sort of um finality to this to these things of how the how things are going to carry on you know past the ending of the show um hope for some not so much hope for some uh you know um as it was just a great series so i just want to preface that preface this final season of reaction um with that that i thoroughly enjoyed this series um i did know the popularity of this series before i reacted to it heard of it um as i said before i even started watching the show i knew of its popularity i was just never interested in it because i'm not really into motorcycles so i never thought it would have been interested to me so um so shout out to you guys for all of you that suggested me reacting to sons of anarchy um you know i really thoroughly enjoyed watching this show um and i didn't know it was gonna have such a awesome story behind it i thought it was you know like bike you know motor motorcycle enthusiasts and stuff like that would you know would want to watch the show but it's let is is so much less about a motor club but it is about a motor club you know what i'm saying so um let's jump into it man i'm happy final season of sons of anarchy let's go also before we leave guys if you are watching this on the original channel you are not going to get notifications so there's going to be a link in this description where you can go and and um subscribe and turn the notifications on on the backup channel okay so when you go to the backup channel subscribe turn on your notifications everything i post on the original channel from here moving forward will be posted over there also so you can get your notifications and know when videos are going live so everything that goes live on the original channel right will go live over there at the same time so if you want to watch it on the backup channel if you want to watch it on the original channel that's really up to you um and also for this final season of sons of anarchy i'm going to try to have cut up versions on youtube okay so you can watch the cut up versions on youtube if you prefer not to sit down for 40 minutes and watch the show with me um I, you know it is what it is it's a full reaction you know you might not have 40 minutes but you got 20 you know what i'm saying um, so I really do appreciate you the for the cut up versions. The audio is going to be really low. So I'm definitely going to have the 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 um, the subtitles there for you to follow along. But the audio is going to be super low because the only way that I can get around the YouTube algorithm, not blocking the video and stuff like that. It's the only way that I can do it. OK, at least for me, I can't do the whole cutting out and cutting in and all of this other stuff like that, you know, I'm not doing one show, <laughs> so there's plenty of other stuff that I have to react to. So I just wanted you guys to know that. Anyways, let's jump into the reaction. And as always, I will see you guys at the end for the review. All right. So unfortunately, because I have to do. Um, because I have to chop up the, the, the series, I can't have my face in the screen anymore. So I can't do full screen for my TV show reactions anymore because I'm planning to start cut up the reaction. So I hope you guys don't mind. I mean, it's not that big a deal. You'll still be able to see the subtitles and all. Hopefully I remember every time to put the subtitles on because I love them. That's the reason why I use them. So um, hopefully you guys are able to follow along. I am going. To, it, the audio is going to be low. But I'm going to to test it as much as possible to see how much volume I can get without getting blocked on YouTube. So hopefully you guys don't mind. All right. So if you guys prefer to watch just a 20 minute snippet of my reaction on YouTube, go ahead and do that. Okay. 
go ahead and do that. Okay, but otherwise, full reaction will be up there with full audio. Loud as hell, just like before. So, um, let's do this. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what he gonna do if you f if he finds out <laughs> that it's you. That's gonna be a problem for you, definitely. What happened to your eyebrows? <laughs> this man shave his eyebrows off on purpose.
We ain't never lied, woman. <laughs> Oh, really? Damn, this season is going to be heavy. Jeez, man. This final season is going to be heavy, man. The hell? <laughs> zoom zoom <laughs>
keep that shit up the highway. Yeah, that's smart. You all know that anything moves out of stock to Porsche, you gotta go through the garage. We'll make sure he gets out. Huh? Not for now. But the last thing, he's like all those dirty cops. Fairness and greedy. At some point, he's gonna push his bunk. So, I was big cop. DA Cartello loose. On his way home. Call in, let him know. Go check out where Jack's at. We appreciate you stepping in the middle of the zone. There ain't no politician here, so maybe I can help put something together. It's all whole. Yeah, but what if you can't? Then it's gonna get messy, I think. For all of us. Are you okay with that? You also want to screw the concern about the loyalty because of your personal connection to the sons. I guess they're just gonna have to trust me. You do. But what about Tyler's mother? She knows how the world works. You didn't answer my question, sir. No, huh? Hey, maybe I would make a good politician. <laughs> That's fine. Years ago, Dr. Van cut his prospects and turned down a lot of jobs. And laid out was basically a kind of fascist founder of the crew. Is he still in jail? Oh, yeah. He gave us the end of the call. Well, for a job with him. No, he's not now. Well, it's working pretty well. He's working for us. And if you want to go and work for us, it's good. How would Joe with you be? It's four months a week. We gotta sit down and talk. We have these people free for free for trial. We gotta do together, right? Yeah, and once you get to talking, it's gonna be calling the shots and stuff, so it's important. Yeah. We didn't get much, but I think I cleaned it up. You may want to favor us in the future, but for now I think we're okay with Joe. What's that third thing? Maybe I was done. I have a thought. I have a thought. This thought just came to my mind. I don't know why this thought came to my mind. But, you know, if actually all gangs, if all gangs came together and actually, like, be criminals together, you know what I'm saying? I think they could actually beat the system. You know what I'm saying? I know, you know, with, I think there are more criminals than there are police or FBI or any of this. Don't get me wrong, you know, when it comes on to, you know what I'm saying, like law enforcement and stuff like that, I don't think they would have the numbers. You get what I'm saying? If all like you're talking about the Aryan Brotherhood, you're talking about motor clubs, you're talking about, you know, 
you know, drug dealers. It, it, if all of them could work in harmony and don't have turf wars and everybody come together and just join forces and be this huge criminal organization, I think they would be unstoppable. <laughs> I don't know why that thought came to my mind without actually thinking about it. Like all these other alliances that they got to make and be cool with everybody. You know what I'm saying? It It's just when I look at it, I'm, I'm like, if they should actually do this, in like in, in real life, I think. I mean, other than the fact that you know regular people would be screwed, <laughs> but on the other spectrum of things, you know what I'm saying. I don't know, or maybe you guys think differently. I I think they would give law enforcement a run for their money, like like on a serious note. Because I mean, look at what just one organization can do, i.e., the cartel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Anyways, let's get to it. Red Woody. <laughs> Uh, it's messed. <laughs> this is all messed up because he lost Tara, man, and it's like is it's, it's kind of like I like to pause to talk, so let me pause to talk because I don't want to <clears throat> talking over the video. Um, I feel like the reason why he's making this decision, I mean, situations can change you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys know throughout this entire show, I've been rooting for him to change the club. Mind you, not all of his decisions were the right decisions. You know what I'm saying? And that happens when you're trying to change something, when you're trying to go do better, there's going to be situation. There's going to be decisions that you make that are not going to be the best decisions. They're not going to be the right decisions. You know what I mean? And you got to accept that along with it. But there are circumstances that can 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 happen along the way that 
you know what I'm saying, will put you in a position to change your perspective on things. And I think that's what happened to him. And I don't want to see him go down this road because either road is going to is going to present challenges to him. You know what I'm saying? This road that he's going back on now because he sees the destruction, the sacrifice, and he's kind of running away from what he wanted to do, in my opinion. The, the running away from it because, you know, you can't handle losing anybody else. And you feel like this is the reason why your father lost his life, blah, blah, blah. It's just a another poor decision, <laughs> in, my, in, in my opinion. If anything, if I was in Jack's position, this would push me more to get the club legit. Because all of this stuff that is happening, Tara dying, and all the stuff that's been happening is because of the, the, the life that you guys are in. The bigger picture is that all of these things that are happening, the violence and all this thing is, is stemming from, it's definitely stemming from all the stuff that you guys are mixed up in. Those are the, 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 and you trying to get out of, it's not to dig deeper now into, to change your mind and go dig deeper into the criminality, the violence and all this other stuff, the, the and all this stuff. Like you were, you're basically out. You get what I'm trying to say? Like they're basically out. So now to, I don't know, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Let's just see how it goes, but that's just my thoughts right now. Oh, damn. I think Jax knows what's going on. I don't know. I think... Maybe until we're certain how all this plays out, I should handle the open gates and focus on collecting them. Keep potential conflicts out of our business. Good. Yeah, that makes sense. Listen, once you're settled in in these few days, we should sit down with you and Alvin. Jax is on some shit right now. Like, he's... He's on edge. And... Yeah, you know I'm saying? Not only is he on edge, like... It's not gonna take much 
to tip him over that edge. I know we're planting off the gun trade to market the bloody bomb. Well, it's just plain historical shit. I was so focused on moving us away from the IRA, I didn't give a shit about Logan. That was a mistake. For better or worse, I got a relationship with Kurowski. This guy's bumped up against him at the board, I can help him. Or very least, I got no trouble looking the other way. We got tight with Connor Malone, who's the boots on the ground for the CIA. Can't take back any of the business we did to Black. Can't get you access to the Irish guns we found in the mill. At the very least, we can increase your business. Nah, they want the entire gun trade. They want the entire thing. Going down on our end, except for Jack and Julie. I know. Apart from the Grim Bastards, won't be any blackness my name for. Hey, you all come back. Good, right? Just stay. Not until you have another place in town. Your uh, escort. Are you serving snacks? So they can partake. <laughs> They probably saw y'all come. They probably saw y'all a long time ago. This man's probably making love to something. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, okay. This.
Assistant pastor. Oh my god. Oh god damn it. White dude, another assistant pastor. Oh boy. This here is Reverend Jonathan Tatum, head pastor. He runs Ray Center for God. And apparently when he's on the way, where would you go to my guy? Would you go to Queen Earth, Minnesota? This is crazy. Operate different, I guess. <laughs>
freaking kidding me? Isn't that Darius McCreary or whatever his name is from the Cosby show? I didn't even recognize him for a second there. This is crazy, man. This is evil, man. My time has come. Give us the mass pine. Yeah, we make it all the time. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. <laughs> you do. And face the truth. Mama, damn, times we shot never been born at all. Hold on a second, I've been watching. Oh, this episode is an hour long, bro. Like an hour. Damn. Country rock remix of Bohemian. I didn't even know this existed. Sounds like Billy Ray Cyrus. Is that Billy Ray? Is somebody let me know? Is that Billy Ray Cyrus? It sounds like him. gonna throw salt in his wounds
is hard to watch, man, because how do they act out scenes like this, man? <laughs> Just how do they do it, bro? Like. I know they don't do it for real, but to act it out is just like, it's, ooh. <clears throat> the crunches. All right. Yep, I got my fill for today. Yep. Stay tuned for my synopsis of the beginning of season seven. Coming right up after these messages. <laughs> All right. So, very, very strong opening episode for the season. I think season six had one of the the least you know the weakest open episode of the entire series to be honest i think season six i talked about it before um but from one one two three four five and seven very strong first episodes to begin the season this time they decided to go with a whole one hour episode i think the episode was like if I'm not mistaken, let me see. Um, I don't know how long it was. This episode, uh, hour and 50 minutes. Call about an hour, 13 minutes. Still a long episode. Almost, almost a two hour episode. Did I just say almost? I'm so dumb, bro. Like sometimes something, what is that? Almost a two hour episode. Almost basically a full movie I wanted to say like basically a full movie usually movies an average runtime of an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes so pretty cool stuff pretty cool um episode i didn't realize that it was so long i thought it was like a a one hour episode so i was gonna do two 30 minute parts but then i when i looked at the time i was like oh this second part has been going for like 45 minutes so um crazy opening i love what they're doing to close it out in this first episode i haven't seen the rest of the season yet so i don't know if it's gonna go as well as i hope it is and hope it has a strong closing of course same 13 episodes so that's good um don't know what's gonna be found out but i do want to talk about one particular thing at the end of the episode of what happened and why Gemma told this lie um I'm probably going to go have to go back because maybe I missed something that I didn't maybe I didn't see something that happened because I was a little confused as to why this was happening or why this guy was put in this position. Um, I'm wondering if Jax just needed someone to take his anger out on and he just chose somebody. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm wondering if that's the case or Gemma actually just made up a story about some dude that she just talked to at the party. You get what I'm trying to say? And just told Jax some bullshit story. Like, I'm wondering if that's what happened. Like, I'm a little confused on that part. So if you guys can clarify it, you know, cause I'm gonna go back and watch that scene again to see how it was set up. Cause maybe I missed it because I was so, I was listening to the song because this is the first time i'm hearing a it's a country rock remix or cover of bohemian rhapsody i've never heard that before um and bohemian rhapsody is one of my favorite songs of all times you know what i'm saying because it has literally probably every genre you can think of inside of one single i think it's like six minutes <laughs> of just awesomeness you know what i'm saying um you know, shout out to Mr. Mercury, man. He's a genius. Um, you know, and I love the music of Queen. So once I heard that, I kind of tuned out a little bit. I'm sorry. But when it comes on to 
what happened i'm probably gonna have to go back and watch that club scene because i don't know how it led to that you know what i'm saying like i'm wondering if Gemma just told a lie or she just told that because they wanted um to to you know what i'm saying like they didn't want you know um them to be responsible or they can't go missing while another member of the asian crew is missing right so i'm wondering if that's why they did it but then again who told him that this guy was responsible was it just Gemma's idea or did they it or did jackson Gemma come up with that with this idea to get the um the bastards to do this you know what i'm saying like is that what it is but i think he just needed someone to take his anger out that's what i'm saying right now even though i'm gonna go back and look at the scene but you know if i if i'm on point just let me know in the comment section that i'm on point but if i'm not on point then I, i'll definitely correct that in my um in, in my whatever if i'll do the review over or something or i'll address it in the next intro of the next um episode but yeah so i'm not gonna be as i'm letting you guys know this at the end of the video i'm not gonna be doing double uploads for the final season we're just gonna do 13 episodes one by one um hopefully i can um release them to you guys um you know more than one at a time whatever so you guys are probably going to see this video um on the weekend at some point maybe on a sunday or a saturday um you know uh you know in the in the upcoming week or so so um by the time you are seeing this video i'm gonna be further along in the season so i'm just letting you guys know that but the situation that's going on with unser and juice unser the reason why i'm calling him a cancer is because i feel like his character is not necessarily needed in the series anymore and for some reason they kept him on that's how i feel about unser's character in the show because all i do is get mad at this character now he's just there you get what i'm saying like he's just there like his purpose i think once clay died his purpose in the show just kind of dropped did they really need unser to set up tara's death you know him as a character did they need that maybe because you know you guys know how i felt about the whole situation when he was at Gemma's house you guys know how i felt about that like that was just complete dumbness like anybody with with two brain cells could know some somebody that you don't have the full information about it about anything right you go and you tell Gemma stuff you know how Gemma is it's not like this is somebody that you just met yesterday you know who Gemma is you know how she feels about her family you know that you knew if i was in answer's position i would have known this is a woman that i've been lusting over for you know what i'm saying the last umpteenth years you know what i'm saying we've known each other entire lives we went to you know high school together or whatever right you've known this woman you've been around her you know how she is about family you know what i'm saying you basically grew up and seen the 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 growth of the sons of anarchy you know this woman man and you're just gonna tell her something like that when you don't have the full information about things right and then you knew she was planning to leave somehow and you were stopping trying to stop her from leaving right because you knew what she was going to do then she's going to tell you oh i have a headache whatever can you go and get my pills and you're going to leave your keys and everything the least at the very least you should have brought your keys with you right and give her no chance of leaving somehow you know what i'm saying or tell her to come with you you know walk with me you know what i'm saying bring her to where the pills are you know what i'm saying um use your brain cells man you know what i mean um but it is what it is you know i'm not i'm, I'm taking him out of me because i'm saying that his character i don't think unser's character is that is like an absolute necessity anymore i think he probably should have died of cancer um i cancer. <laughs> i'm sorry i went too far anyway so 
that's just how I feel about his character, you know. Um, so when it comes on to to Nero and the whole thing, you know, them trying to, you know, bring everybody together, allied, whatever, um, you know, that's cool, you know. Um, but I don't think Alvarez is agreeing with everything because he wants the territories. He wants to rule everything. He wants to be in that position where, you know, he has Stockton and all of these other places and Charmin and, and all of this. Like, he wants all of that territory for himself. He wants the gun trade to be the one distributing the guns. Him, the Mayans only, right? But, hey, we'll see how things turn out for them. Anyways, I think Jax knows that this dude is not responsible for Terra, but he just needed someone to work his anger out on. That's what I'm thinking. But if it's the latter where Gemma actually told him this and lied, that's a whole different story. But we'll see how everything goes. Season 7, Episode 1, man was a banger for sure i enjoyed it was a lot of tension there i felt very uneasy the entire episode and it was it was a really really heavy episode like i think there was a couple of times that jack smiled but it was like him just being him you know what i'm saying cracking jokes with the rest of the with the rest of the guys um like that so i'm not gonna go as far to, to say that you know what i'm saying like those were like genuine smiles because that's just him he likes to crack jokes about silly stuff sometimes but for the most part it was a very 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 heavy episode and i'm here for it anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man hopefully you guys stay tuned and as i said before as a reminder guys i said it in the intro you probably fast forward through it but now you're watching the review so let me say this to you guys again if you want notifications for this video and you, for, for Sons of Anarchy videos for this final season, you have to go to the backup channel, subscribe, and turn the notifications on for all. Okay? I'm sorry. That's just how it is. You watch Sons of Anarchy on the channel, you won't get notifications and you won't know when Sons of Anarchy is out on the channel. Because you're going to say, oh, you should you should um, tell us when they're going to come out. I can't tell you when they're going to come out because they, it's going to be random. It's going to be random, or if you want me to do one episode a week, a week which I don't want to do. So, you'll get notified if you do this. Go to the to the, to the the backup channel, which is Terabyte Reacts and Gaming. Go to that channel and subscribe and turn the notifications on. Because I, everything I post on the original channel will be posted on the backup channel also. Um, so, you will get notified that way. It doesn't matter where you watch it. As a matter of fact, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but if you want to help that the backup channel grow so we can maybe turn that into the to to the to the um the official channel again, um, you know, watch the episode over there. Watch it over there or whatever the situation is. Watch it over there so that channel can get some watch time and stuff like that. So by the time it gets to a thousand subscribers over there, I can start monetizing stuff over there also. So hopefully we can get this done. Okay. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all as always, man. I know it's not a lot of you guys that turn out for my Sons of Anarchy videos, but you know, that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate you guys nonetheless. So I appreciate you guys. Final season. Let's go. Thank you guys so much. Once again, leave a like, leave a comment. And as always, man, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts and I'm out. Peace.